There are a handful of modifications to your gaze stability exercises that will make them harder or easier depending on your needs. So far, you've learned how to do your exercises seated using the star dot pattern. This is how I have most of my patients start out, but we can change the difficulty of each gaze stability exercise by modifying the position of your body and the target you're looking at. Let's start with position. If practicing your exercises seated is too challenging for you, you can make it easier for yourself by laying on your back, staring at a single point on the ceiling, and rocking your head in the proper direction. If practicing your therapy seated is too easy for you, the next progression is to stand with your feet touching. Once this is easy, you can perform the exercise standing on an unsteady surface like a foam pad or a couch cushion. After that, you can practice on a solid surface with one foot behind another called a tandem stance. Your practitioner may recommend that you always keep your right foot behind your left foot or your left foot behind your right foot, but if you're not sure, you can just do about half of your reps with your right foot back and the other half with your left foot back. You can also try this standing on one foot rather than in a tandem stance if you prefer. Once this is easy, you can practice in a tandem stance or on one leg, but on an unsteady surface. The final progression is to practice while you're walking. Now, let's focus on target variations. Up to now, you've focused on one dot in the star pattern while you move your head in the appropriate direction. This is known as a times one gaze stability exercise. But if this is too challenging, you can instead focus on your thumb and move your thumb in sync with your head movements. This is called a times zero gaze stability exercise. To make this as easy as possible, I recommend that you practice this on a solid background like a non-textured wall. If you want to make your time zero exercise more difficult, you can practice in front of a textured or busy background. The final target variation is called a times two gaze stability exercise. To practice a times two gaze stability therapy, stare at your thumb while moving your thumb equally in the opposite direction that you move your head. Again, start with a solid background to make this easier and use a textured or busy background to make it more challenging. Play with a combination of different variables to find an exercise that's challenging but not impossible to complete. If you begin to experience symptoms, you might be practicing too many repetitions at a time or you might not be ready for that variation yet. Try less reps or a simpler variation next time. As always, it's much better to have a practitioner guiding you through the correct therapy for you. If you don't have a practitioner to work with, leave a comment below or reach out to me at virtualbrainrehab.com and I'll see how I can help. And please remember to subscribe and like this video if you learned something. This is Dr. P and I'll see you in the next video.